So just some random stuff. Everybody knows that they came out with a live action Beauty and the Beast. Was it last year? Well, now they're doing one for Winnie the Pooh called Christopher Robin. And I personally was like, really, we're just going to live action everything now? Really, Disney? Really, is this what we're going to do? And then I realized that Ewan McGregor is playing Christopher Robin. And if you don't know who Ewan McGregor is, then you're an uncultured swine shitbag. Ewan McGregor played Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequel Star Wars trilogy. And he was also in, guess, the 2017 Beauty and the Beast movie. He was also in Big Fish. I'm not a big Winnie the Pooh person, but like, Ewan McGregor's great, so I might go and see it just for that fact. I'll leave a link to the teaser trailer down in the description right below the like button uh, if you want to, if you're interested in watching that teaser trailer. Other news for those hip hop fans out there like me and some of my friends Logic drops Bobby Tarantino 2 Friday. And this is a big thing because everybody who listened has been a diehard Logic fan has wanted Bobby Tarantino forever now. And for those who don't know, Logic has dropped three new songs in the last three weeks. And all three of those songs came out in one week. So everybody thought he was coming out with some new stuff. And then yesterday, he posted a video about Bobby Tarantino 2. So that's what I'm super excited for this week. Also, in more serious news, Terry Crews, you know, the big, strong, black guy from the Old Spice commercials was sexually assaulted at a party by an agent and no charges are being filed against said agent. Apparently this agent grabbed Terry Crews by the groin multiple times and no one's putting any charges on them even though Terry Crews would probably really like to have charges pressed against this dickhead. The authorities supposedly rejected the whole case because it's beyond the statute of limitation. I'm not a cop. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what that means. If you want to know what that means, do some research. And that really sucks as, you know, a, a human being to be sexually assaulted and then them be like, eh, fuck you. And the really sad thing is that happens every single day. Not just with actors or actresses, but with everyday people. I'm not going to get into that. That's serious stuff that could be used for another video. I'm not, I'm not, no. Also, other hip-hop news. Lil Xan was under fire last night because he said that Tupac's music was boring. And I'm not going to say he's wrong for his opinion, even though I don't agree with it. I personally would have just kept that opinion on the low because hip hop fans are really, really aggressive when it comes to like Tupac and Biggie Smalls and Eminem. They get angry really, really, really fast because those are people that changed the rap game. Those people are what made rap what they are today. Like Lil Xan would not exist. Hip hop probably would be pretty much dead by now if it wasn't for Tupac and Biggie and Eminem and Jay-Z and shit like that. So Lil Xan's not wrong for having his opinion, but he should have kept it to himself. He should just know that being a hip hop artist. As a tech person, I feel like I need to put some tech news in here. So MKBHD released a video yesterday explaining what the Apple ecosystem is. I'll leave a link to that down in the description and you can check that out if you're interested. If not, that's fine too. But I think that's it for the day. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.